Hi there, and this is Hoo-Ha Sports Day, your daily sports update and review show covering all that's happening in your world of football and beyond. No league action this weekend, but we have some European flair as the final set of fixtures of the Euro 2012 qualifiers gets underway. So far, Germany, Spain and Italy are through, with Holland and England needing just one point in the next match to book their spots. There are some crucial ties with the other group leaders such as Russia, France and especially Portugal, who are tied on 13 points in Group H with Denmark and Norway. And next Tuesday's game between Denmark and Portugal will have to be a must-see. Or you can choose to catch France and Bosnia-Herzegovina in Group D, separated by just a point, only if France fails to get all three points against Albania tonight. We will bring you all the results next week here on Hoo-Ha Sports Today. Now, as promised, we will look into some of the best and worst stats in the Premier League. A nice place to start would be at the top scorers. Wayne Rooney leads with 9 after United's fine start to the season, while Sergio Aguero's 30-plus million is proving to be a worthy investment. But his total, combined with Edin Dzeko's, brings us to our next stat, assists. Ashley Young and Nani look to be responsible for most of Rooney's goals, but the combination or options Ame Nazri and David Silva provide for either Aguero, Jacko, Balotelli or even Carlos Tevez, when he decides to play that is, is going to be a dangerous prospect all season long. Well, those are the standard stats. Let's look at the worst side of things. Fouls. Norwich's Grant Holt takes over from the infamous Kevin Nolan who moved to relegated West Ham with 19 fouls in 6 games, while Newcastle's Czech Teote, last season's second most tough tackler, is carrying on from where he left off. But for the best team discipline, despite the off-the-field shenanigans, Man City are exemplary on the pitch, followed by United, and with 1 point for a yellow and 3 for a red, you can guess who is at the bottom. Arsenal with three reds in the first three games and a whopping total of 14 yellows after six are rock bottom. Even Chelsea and Liverpool are poor when it comes to good behaviour. And one final stat we would like to look at is clean sheets because if the league was based on how many times teams can stop the opponents from scoring, it'll be a very different story. Newcastle have gone back to the basics, fortifying the defence and it has paid off with three clean sheets and it seems to be the proven formula for the smaller spending clubs. Only Wigan and Blackburn have not kept a single clean sheet in six. So there you have it, a quick update on some Premier League stats. We will catch up with you next week. Until then, uh, have a good weekend ahead. But from the team and I, it's bye for now.